Yo, what's good everyone? Legend here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you every single accessory location in C1. And I'll be going from Starter Island all the way up to Logtown. So I'll be going in order of the islands. Also, this is going to be a way longer video than usual because I'm going to give you actual details on what the things can do. So yeah, uh, let me get straight to it. Alright, so starting off with Starter Island. There's only one accessory here you can get. It's the bandit armor dropped by the bandit leader, which is located right over here. You can also spawn up on that hill over there. He drops his clothes. It's an unknown drop chance, but it's the first item you can get, so really easy to get. It gives you an extra 35 HP, and this is how it looks. Alright, and so that was Starter Island. Now I'm going to be going to the Jungle Island. Alright, so I'm at the Jungle Island. There's only one accessory here as well. It's the Gorilla Crown, which is dropped by the King Gorilla, which is located at the top of this here hill. Right here. Unknown drop chance, but it's also easy to get. Gives you 5% fight damage, and that looks. Alright, so now I'm going to be going to the Clown Island. Alright, so I'm at the Clown Island, and you can get three accessories here. Clown Hat, Clown Cape, and Clown Clothes. They're all dropped by the Clown King, which is located up here at the big house, or the big yellow house, right here. Here's the stats. Clown Hat is an uncommon, 30 HP, and 2% fruit damage. Clown Cape is an uncommon, 75 health, and 3 fruit damage. And Clown Clothes, 50 health, and 4% fruit damage. And all combined, it's 155 health. 11 or 12% fruit damage and 2.50% gun damage. And this is how they all look on you. All right, so now I'm going to be going to the Marine Island. All right, so I'm at Marine Island. You can get three accessories here, and they're all from the same box, so that means they're a set. You can get the Orange Jaw, the Lorgan Clothes, and the Marine Cape. And the box is located at the very peak of the mountain. I guess you can call this a mountain. There he is. And here's the buffs. So Iron Jaw. 5% sword damage. Oh, whoops. Lorgan Close. A rare. Uh 6% sword damage. And Marine Cape. Okay, CB, you need to stop that right now. Which will give you 120% health. Or 120 health, not percent. And all together you'll get 120 health, 2.50 defense, and 14.08 sword damage. And this is how they all look. Alright, so now I'll be going to Liar Island. Alright, so I'm at Liar Island. You can get two accessories here. They're from the same box. And it's the burrow glasses and burrow clothes. And the boss is located at the very back of the island. Always up by this mansion here. There he is. Drop chances are unknown. And here's the buffs. So uncommon burrow's glasses, 5% speed increase. And rare burrow's clothes, 10% speed increase. With the full set, you get 5% sword damage and 32.83% of speed. Here's how it looks. And here's a little boost you get. Pretty noticeable speed increase. So yeah, now I'll be going to the Bratier. All right, so I'm at the Bratier. There's four accessories you can get here, two from each boss. And so the first boss is Don Zig. He drops his Zig cape and his Zig armor. He's located right here. And here is the accessories. So Zig Cape, it's an uncommon and gives you 3% damage. Zig Armor is a rare and it gives you 150 uh, health. And combined you get 150 health, 3 damage, uh, 7 defense, and 5 sword damage. And here's how it looks. Alright, so the two other accessories, which is a set is the chef hat and the bratier uniform which is dropped by the secret boss that spawns like every 20 minutes maybe 10. he spawns in here within this like little column the crimson leg and here's the armor and the buffs so chef hat two percent fight damage five percent sword damage and then the bratier uniform 
3% fight damage and 3% sword damage. Altogether, you get uh, 7.6 fight damage and 11.40 sword damage. And here's how they look. Looking like a real chef. They're real good. All right, so now I'll be going to our park. All right, so I am at our park. There's only one accessory you can get here. Drop by one boss. And it's the Arlongo Close. The La Boss location is right at the big, uh, big, huge building at the front of it, right here. Here's the close buffs. So our Longo close, seven percent fight damage, and here is how it looks. All right, so now I'll be going to Log Town. All right, so I'm at Log Town. There's four accessories you can get here from two different bosses, so two different sets. The first set is Alvita set, and it's the Alvita hat and Alvita clothes. She's located over to the left of the island at by this big tower. There she is. And here's her clothes buffs, her accessory buffs. So the hat, Alvita hat, 3% fight damage, and Alvita clothes, 4.5% fight damage, and all together it's 13.57 fight damage. Here's how it looks. All right, so the second set is the smoker set, dropped by smoker, right here. Here he is, and he drops the white clothes, which gives you a 7.5 fruit damage buff, and then he also drops the captain cape, which gives a 3% defense and PvP damage 5%. All together, you get 3% defense, 13.95 fruit damage, 2.50 sword damage, and 5% PvP damage. And here's how they both look. Alright, so since there's a sea beast that spawned in, I'm going to tell you what he can drop. Because he can also drop some accessories. He drops four accessories, I think. So the first two is a set. It's the Boofy set. The clothes can give you 5% damage. And the hat gives you 3% in uh, defense. And so here's how it looks. And so the second set that he drops is the blaze set. I only have the blaze hat. I've killed a sea beast like a thousand times and I still don't have the pants. But yeah, so the hat gives you 5% damage and the pants, I think they give you 5% uh, defense. So here's how the hat looks. Here, let me, let me kill him and maybe I'll get it. All right, so I didn't get his pants, but yeah, that's like one of the only accessories I don't have. All right, so since I'm here, I'm also going to talk about uh, Great Gorilla King's drops. He has one drop. Apparently, he has three, but I don't know if he actually has them, so I ain't going to say them. But So, his only drop is the Gorilla Plate, 10% sword damage, and here's how it looks. So, yeah, apparently, he also drops the bounty uh, clothes and hat, but I'm pretty sure only the dude, uh, Hawkeyes from Second Sea can do that. So I don't know. Alright, so that was a longer video than usual, but I had to give you some actual details on the stuff, so you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll also be doing every accessory in C2 soon, but I gotta get some more things, because I don't have every accessory. So yeah, that'll be coming out very soon. And if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. I'm truly sorry if I did. So yeah, I'll see y'all in 500 million years. Goodbye.